this day and I say there are multitudes of those who say that they are my people who are not willing to be identified with me. But I say they prefer to have their identity with acceptance of the world and the promotion of the saint. For I say they are simply seeking for a way they can have their cake and eat it too. That is, in the sense that they get what they want, how they want it in this life, then claim they are serving me. But I say if any man is truly serving me, then I say that he will continually know that he must deny himself, take up his cross and follow me. And I say that he will know that it is only through me that he is brought forth. For I say it is me, the living God, who is the way of all righteousness, the way of all truth, and the way that is mercy provided. And I say when any man or woman will truly be mine, then I say they will walk in my way. And I say that they will not be found going in the way of the stubborn, the proud, the foolish, who will not be identified with me. Now I say this day that I, the living God, have intended even from the beginning that my own people would be willing to suffer with me. That is, that they would endure with patience what it is that I've set before them and come forth victoriously overcoming the obstacles of the same. That is, that they would not give up, that they would not fall into hypocritical pretension and say they are serving me when they are not. But they would be honest and true unto me, ever repenting and continuing in my way. Now I say you are living in times when men are extremely shallow in their commitments unto me. For I say they will love me when things go their way, but when they do not, then I say they rebel against me. And I say there are multitudes who claim they are mine who do not love me at all. But I say they simply love the Jesus they have invented in order to have their way. Now I say this day there are endless multitudes who follow after Babylon's Jesus and love him just the way they have made him to be. For I say the very Jesus they think that they serve, they do not serve at all. For I say they are the ones who have made the idol and they bow unto the same. But I say there is no true service to the God they've invented, how could there be? For I say they are pretenders, their God is pretense and delusion, and I say it is emptiness before me. For I say that their so-called worship is vanity, it is done in vain, for I say that their God is not real. Yet I say in their own minds and imaginations they love it so. And I say it is because they are living in realms of gross pretension and having it their way. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do not call you to keep company with those who are full of falsehood and lies, with those who are full of delusion. But I say that I call you to keep company with me, for I am the one who guides you forth. That is, I will uplift, direct, and instruct you day by day. And I say that I will give unto you the light upon the path. Now I say this day when you are accepting of the way that I offer, the way that I give, then of course you are pleasing me. But I say when you reject my way to take up another way, what do you do? I say you go in the way of those who are guilty of idolatry against me. And I say when any man will worship an idol of his own invention, he is proven to be an utter fool. Or I say, if he will take up the idols that other men have invented and brought forth, he is equally stupid before me. I say this day that I, the living God, do not call you to be stupid, but I say that I call you to be made wise. That is, by ever enduring what it is that I've set before thee, ever thankful unto me. For I say, if you are indeed thankful for the truth and the light, the mercy revealed, then yes, you are given my truth and my light upon the path. For I say that I, the living God, absolutely will not withhold any good thing from the ones who will humble themselves and walk uprightly in me. But I say when you see the pretenders, the mockers, the scoffers who insist and persist that they have it their way, no, they are none of mine. And yes, it is me, the living God, who will bring my wrath revealed upon them. For I say they are disgust and ashamed to my name. For I say while they promote themselves that they are my people, it absolutely is not true. And I say that their hearts are hard towards me, they will not bend their necks in obedience before me, and they will not bow down. For I say they scoff the call to repent, they even mock the same as though they had already arrived. 
And I say they are stench unto me because their religious rottenness is ever before me. I smell the same. And I say they are not at all well pleasing because they refuse to suffer with me. And I say they refuse true identity with me because they want it their way. Now I say when you truly consider when men and women refuse to give up their way, they literally will never be found in my way. Nor in the day of judgment revealed will they be found well pleasing unto me. But I say they will be found delegated to their place in hell because that is their just reward. For I say when any man or woman will keep their lives, they lose their lives in me. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do not call you to keep your life, but I call you to give your life over to gain the life that is in me. And I say that I call you to be thankful that each and every day you are uplifted and directed by me. And yes, you can be given the truth, the hope, the blessedness, and the strength of who I am. And yes, you can be brought forth in that which I give you day by day. For I say it is me, the living God, who is the way of righteousness, the way of truth, and the way that is mercy provided. And I say when you are coming forth in that way, then you are guided by me. For I say if you accept my way with gladness and walk in the same, you will find that I strengthen thee. And yes, you will find that I give you the light upon the path and the truth, the mercy, the hope of who I am. But I say when you will depart from the way that I offer, the way that I give, then I say that trouble sometimes shall be with thee. And I say it is because you would not endure in my way, you would not overcome and be victorious in me. And I say when you think you find a better way than the way that I provide, you find the way of a fool. And yes, you will know the suffering that is given to the fool for the same shall be a reward. I say this day if men will not suffer from me, be identified with me, then I say they will find suffering nonetheless. For I say there is none that escape suffering in this life than the ones who refuse my cup of the same. I say they will be given the cup of devils. And I say to suffer for nothing, to suffer for demons, to suffer for identity with the world is truly more painful than you can know. For I say, when you suffer for emptiness, futility, and despair, there is no end to the same. But I say, when you will indeed patiently endure in me and suffer through identity with me, then I say you are rewarded by me. And to the ones who will come forth in victory, I say that I give exactly to them what they deserve. That is, I will give to them the crown of glory that is given to the ones who overcome. And I say it is because they have obeyed me. Now I say this day be thankful that you are given the privilege to obey me, to come forth in me and be ever guided by me. For I say when you will be accepting and not rejecting of what it is that I give, then yes, you are guided forth in my life. And yes, you are given the blessedness, the truth, the mercy, and the strength that is found in my way. For I say that it is me, the living God, who will uplift, direct, correct, and bring forth the ones who believe upon me. But I say to the ones who believe in themselves, who believe the lies of the liar, and believe that they find a better way than the way that I ordain, I say they lose out with me. And I say in the end all of their self-preservation will prove to be the sentence of damnation unto them. For I say when a man will seek to keep his life, then I say that he loses out with me. And I say when any will stray from my way to find a better way, I say they will find sorrow in the same. I say this day that I, the living God, do not call you to live in sorrow, to die in sorrow, and perish in sorrow. And I say if you are choosing in opposition to me, then sorrow shall be thy cup. But I say if you will choose to be identified with me, to suffer with me, then I say you will gain what it is that I have for thee. For I say when you will not deny identity with me, then of course you are brought forth in my way. But I say to the ones who are ever seeking and striving against me, yet claiming they are mine, I say they are foolish in all that they do. And I say the idol they serve that they have formed and made and believe in, I say it shall do them no good. For I say when men will purpose themselves to serve Babylon's Jesus, they are serving a lie. And yes, they will be found under my wrath revealed. For I say it is a time that I, the living God, have declared my war upon humankind. And yes, they will receive retributive justice in their lives. And I say they will indeed suffer in this life and suffer in the life to come. 
For I say that when they are bound, bound in hell, they will remember the call that I gave unto them. And I say they will likewise remember in bitter anguish that they rejected the same. I say this day be thankful that you do not need to reject me nor refuse me, but you can come forth in me day by day, and you can be uplifted and strengthened, directed, and brought forth by me, and given the truth, the light, the blessedness, the mercy of who I am. For I say it is me, the living God, who is the way of all righteousness and truth, the way of all mercy and strength, and the way that is my hope provided for those who believe upon me. Therefore I say, in a wavered, a perverse, a vile, a wicked generation, let it be me that you will look to day by day, and let it be me that you will follow after, seek to please, and obey, for I am thy God. And I say that I am the way that is righteousness, truth, mercy, strength, and hope provided. And I say that I am the one who gives the abundance of life unto my own. Therefore I say, be thankful that you can indeed be made glad to serve, to love, to obey me. And I say, be thankful that the way that I give is the way that is life. For I say, when you are accepting and not rejecting my reproof, correction, and instruction, then I say, you will not abhor the call to repent. But I say, you will realize that repentance is the way of life you must maintain in humility before me. For I say that the wise man will not reject me, but he will accept me and walk in my way. But I say that the fool will stubbornly, proudly insist he have his way all to his own destruction. Now I say there are those who live in their sins, continue in the same, then justify their darkness before me. But I say their justifications are nothing that is found acceptable unto me. For I say if a man is truly mine, then I say that he changes to accommodate me. But I say that the fool who keeps his own life will perish in the same. For I say, for all of his justifying of sin, I say, there is no justification that is acceptable unto me. And I say that he will not receive my mercy, but he will indeed build up the cup of wrath. And I say, when that wrath is poured forth upon him, yes, he will moan and groan and howl and scream under the same. But I say that he receives the suffering multiplied that he refused in order to serve me. I say, thank me and praise me that you do not suffer in vain when you gain identity with me. But you will be found well-pleasing, acceptable, and received into the beloved because you have walked in my way.